So, you want to project on glass? Mm -hmm. But you're too cheap or your budget is just too tight to buy some of this film I feature in this movie. Well, so um, there is a cheaper solution. Get some buttermilk. Hey! Uh, get the cheapest one you can get. It's important that it doesn't have any butter flakes in it. Just get the really plain cheap buttermilk. This one was 39 cents for half a liter. And then get some foam rollers for luck. Get new ones because you want to be sure it's really really clean. And then it's off to the window. To get a more even distribution just uh, pour some of the buttermilk, not too much, into a big bowl or plate and then give it some rolls with a roller just to cover it, not to fill it up with buttermilk. Spread only a really thin layer of buttermilk on the glass and avoid those lines by applying some even pressure. If you made a mistake, just wash it off with some warm water. If you want to, you can even create some really sharp edges by just taping them. Just avoid any insects landing on your new screen because you don't want that. So here we are, probably not the nicest solution, but obviously the cheapest solution to project on glass. You can even create thinner layers by adding some water to the buttermilk. Because there are still some of these protein particles in there that do the scattering of the light in the projection to make it visible. Yeah, right. As if you invented it, huh? It was Johann Zahn, a German mathematician, who invented this method with buttermilk and a screen of glass when he was trying to develop some matte screen for his camera obscura in the late 1600s. So again, very old knowledge we're passing on here. So enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you want to, and we'll be seeing you next time.